nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off of Falcon 9, go Falcon, go Global Star. Pitching down range. Stage one, chamber pressure is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off. Power and telemetry are nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off with Global Star FM 15 satellites and has throttled down to prepare for Max Q. Max Q is the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures that the vehicle sees during ascent and is coming up here. Coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. Great call out that we've now passed through that period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Next up will be three events and they will be happening back to back from each other. That will be MECO stage separation and SES-1. MECO stands for main engine. Back engine chill has started. Great call outs there. MECO stands for main engine cutoff, and that is referring to the nine Merlin engines on the first stage. And we've got a great view here. We should be able to see those nine engines shut down, and that helps prepare for the second event, which is stage separation. That's where the first stage separates from the second stage. And the third event will be SES-1, which is where the second stage engine starts up for the first time on its journey today. And those three events, again, are Miko State Separation and SES-1 coming up here in just a few seconds. Main engine cut off. State Separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And some great call outs there. We did just see Miko with the first stage engines shutting down, stage separation, and SES-1. We saw that startup of the MVAC engine on the second stage. Now what you're seeing on your screen is a view of the first stage with the grid fins deploying there. Acquisition signal, Premiere. Now these grid fins are helping to steer the first stage back to its landing zone. Today is just read the instructions, our drone ship waiting off the coast of Florida for this vehicle to return back home to Earth. And it is nighttime over there on the East Coast, so it is a bit dark but you can see, it, this is a view of the first stage, and you can see some bursts of nitrogen. Those are those uh, flashes that you see there, and that is used for attitude control, and that's what the vehicle... Start of mid-flight guidance, stage two is on nominal trajectory. Good call-outs with stage two. But those nitrogen bursts are what the vehicle uses to help guide the vehicle back to its landing zone. And in order to complete landing today, the first stage, We'll have two more burns left. Next up will be the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin engines will, will reignite. And that helps to slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, that burn is about a 20 second burn. After it shuts down, the atmosphere actually helps grab most of the velocity on the first stage. 
So when we get closer to landing, we only need a single engine burn for the landing bird, and that's the single E9 engine in the center of the vehicle. Now we are just about three minutes away from the entry burn beginning on the first stage. And as I previously mentioned, you could see on the vehicle the, the soot markings that were left over from previous flights. And just a quick explanation of how that happens, the rocket grade kerosene or RP-1 used a fuel Falcon 9 is carbon based. And so when it burns, it generates the soot. And as I was talking about the entry burn, the vehicle enters back into the Earth's atmosphere engines first. So when we do reignite those engines, that's how the soot gets back onto the vehicle. It's because it is basically flying through its own plume. Stage two on nominal trajectory. And stage two is on a nominal trajectory. For today's mission, we do have three burns of the MVAC engine in order to make its way to its drop-off orbit for the, the satellite today. Now we were able to see the grid fins on the first stage just for a quick few seconds. Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage, which is near the base of the inner stage. And that's what the vehicle uses for steering as it makes its way back to stage Earth. Two, yes, is safe. And they help orient the rocket during re-entry and guide the the vehicle during its descent. And again, today we will be attempting to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. If you're just now joining us, we did have a successful liftoff from pad 40 at 12.27 a.m. Eastern time. We had a successful MECO stage separation and second stage engine start. And we have been hearing good call outs of the first stage, uh, second stage trajectory. Again, today we will have three ignitions of our MVAC engine. And actually today, during the landing burn, we will have uh, the first SECO one, which is second stage engine cutoff one. So we'll have a stage couple call outs. Stage two on nominal trajectory. Stage one, FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. And great news, and as you can see on your screen, the entry burn has begun for the first stage. This will last about 20 seconds long. Again, this is helping slow the vehicle down as it's entering back into the Earth's atmosphere. Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And as the screen goes dark, that means that those engines have shut down, and we did hear the call out for entry burn shut down. Now we are about less than a minute away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage, and as I was mentioning, the landing burn conclusion will happen around the same time as SECO 1 on second stage, that is second engine cutoff 1. And we're just about 20 seconds away from the landing burn beginning. Again, it's just the, the center E9 engine that ignites Stage for landing. And each one of these Merlin engines has about 190,000 pounds of thrust, and that's just enough. Terminal guidance. It's just enough to help the vehicle slow down and touch down for landing. Stage one landing burn. And there's that call out, stage one landing burn. 
Now the four landing legs should deploy just a few seconds before touchdown. So let's watch as Falcon 9 attempts to land on just read the instructions. Stage one landing leg deploy. And Stage one landing confirmed. Awesome view. Stage one has landed. This marks our 126th overall successful recovery of an orbital class Nominal rocket. Orbit and that includes Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy first stage landings. And we just heard the call out for a nominal orbital insertion on the second stage. So with that, we are going to be in a coast phase until just before we relight the MVAC engine again on the second stage. So sit back and enjoy the Space Jams, and we'll see you just after the T plus 1.